Hi, today I want to talk about adjectives in Ukrainian. In Ukrainian, the adjectives agree with the number and gender they modify and usually answer four questions. They are Yaki, meaning what or what kind. It is asked when the gender of the noun is masculine. Yaki. Yaka, meaning also what or what kind. It is asked when the gender of the noun is feminine. Yaka. Yake, meaning what or what kind. And is asked when the gender of the noun is neuter. Yake. Yaki is asked when the number of the noun is plural. So, let's see the examples. First is masculine. Yaki. Novi sad. New garden. Novi sad. Stari sad. Old garden. Stari sad. Veliki sad. Big garden. Veliki sad. As you have noticed, the ending of the adjective in the masculine form is e. Next is feminine. Yaka. Stara škola. Old school. Stara škola. Nova škola. New school. Nova škola. Velika škola. Big school. Velika škola. As you have noticed, in the feminine form, the ending is a. Now, let's get down to the neuter form. Jakie. Velike misto. Big city. Velike misto. Nove misto. New city. Nove misto. Stare misto. Old city. Stare misto. As you have noticed, the ending in the neuter form is e. Now let's see the plural form. It answers the question jaki. Veliki mista. Big cities. Veliki mista. Novi sadi. New gardens. Novi sadi. Veliki školi. Big schools. Veliki školi. Stari mista. Old cities. Stari mista. As you have noticed, in the plural form, the ending of the adjectives is E. As an addition, I would like to introduce to you four easy adjectives to apply to the rules. The first is harne, beautiful, harne. The second is malenki, little or small, malenki. The third is lehki, meaning easy or light. Lehki. The fourth is Vashki, meaning difficult or hard. Vashki, also meaning heavy. These adjectives are given in the masculine form. Try to transform them into the other forms of the adjective and also apply them with the words you learned in the previous lessons. If you have questions, doubts or comments, feel free to write me.